Let's Go Third Edition, Student Book Four, by Ritsuko Nakata, Karen Fraser, and Barbara Hoskins, with grammar chants by Carolyn Graham. Published and copyrighted by Oxford University Press. CD One. Track Two, Unit One, Birthdays. Let's start. A. Let's talk. What's the date today? It's the twenty-first. Oh, today's my aunt's birthday. Really? Yesterday was my father's birthday. When's your birthday? It's on August third. When is your birthday? My birthday was three weeks ago. I didn't know that. Happy birthday. Track three. B. Let's practice. When's your birthday? It's on August third. Track four. C. Practice the sentences. Ask and answer. Number one. First. Number two. Second. Number three. Third. Number four. Fourth. Number five. Fifth. Number six. Sixth. Number seven. Seventh. Number eight. Eighth. Number nine. Ninth. Number ten. Tenth. Number eleven. Eleventh. Number twelve. Twelfth. Number thirteen. Thirteenth. Number fourteen. Fourteenth. Number fifteen. Fifteenth. Number sixteen. Sixteenth. Number seventeen. Seventeenth. Number eighteen. Eighteenth. Number nineteen. Nineteenth. Number twenty. Twentieth. Number twenty-one. Twenty-first. Number twenty-two. Twenty-second. Number twenty-three. Twenty-third. Number twenty-four. Twenty-fourth. Number twenty-five. Twenty-fifth. Number twenty-six. Twenty-sixth. Number twenty-seven. Twenty-seventh. Number twenty-eight. Twenty-eighth. Number twenty-nine. Twenty-ninth. Number thirty. Thirtieth. Number thirty-one. Thirty-first. Track five. C. Practice the sentences. Ask and answer. What's the date today? It's the twenty-first. What was the date yesterday? It was the twentieth. What's the date going to be tomorrow? It's going to be the twenty-second. Track six. Let's learn. A. Practice the words. Number one. Took a test. Number two. Had a party. Number three. Flew a kite. Number four. Went to the store. Number five. 
met a movie star. Number six. Drink hot chocolate. Track seven. B. Practice the sentences. He had a party yesterday. She didn't drink hot chocolate yesterday. Track eight. B. Practice the sentences. Take. Took. Have. Had. Fly. Flew. Go. Went. Meet. Met. Drink. Drank. Track nine. B. Practice the sentences. Number one. He drank hot chocolate yesterday. Number two. He flew a kite yesterday. Number three. He didn't meet a movie star yesterday. Number four. She took a test yesterday. Number five. She went to the store yesterday. Number six. She didn't have a party yesterday. Track ten. C. Practice the question and answer. What did he do yesterday? He took a test. What did she do yesterday? She took a test. Track eleven, C. Practice the question and answer. Number one. What did she do yesterday? She took a test. Number two. What did he do yesterday? He had a party. Number three. What did she do yesterday? She flew a kite. Number four. What did he do yesterday? He went to the store. Number five. What did she do yesterday? She met a movie star. Number six. What did he do yesterday? He drank hot chocolate. Track twelve. D. Ask and answer. Did she fly a kite yesterday? Yes, she did. Did he fly a kite yesterday? No, he didn't. Track thirteen. Let's learn more. A. Practice the words. Number one. Ate too much chocolate. Number two. Broke a window. Number three. Got a present. Number four. Found some money. Number five. Lost his cell phone. Number six. Won a race. Track fourteen, B. Practice the sentences. He won a race. They won a race. She didn't find any money. They didn't find any money. Track fifteen, B. Practice the sentences. Eat. Eight. Break. Broke. Get. Got. Find. Found. Lose. Lost. Win. Won. Track sixteen. B. Practice the sentences. Number one. She ate too much chocolate.
She didn't find any money. Number two. He broke a window. He didn't lose his cell phone. Number three. They didn't win a race. They got a present. Track seventeen. C. Practice the question and answer. What happened? She found some money. Track eighteen. C. Practice the question and answer. Number one. What happened? They ate too much chocolate. Number two. What happened? She won a race. Number three. What happened? He broke a window. Number four. What happened? He got a present. Number five. What happened? She found some money. Number six. What happened? She lost her cell phone. Track nineteen. D. Practice the grammar chant. When's your birthday? It was the day before yesterday. What did you do? I had a party. What happened? We had a race. Did you win? Yes, I won. I came in first place. Track twenty. Let's build. A. Make sentences. I met a movie star on the thirteenth. Number one. I lost my music player on the third. Number two. I found my music player on the eleventh. Number three. I met a movie star on the thirteenth. Number four. I ate at a restaurant on the eighteenth. Number five. I flew a kite on the twentieth. Number six. I had a party on the twenty eighth. Track twenty one. B. Ask and answer. When did he fly a kite? He flew a kite on Sunday the twentieth. Track twenty two. Let's read. A. Read. New words. Parents. Candles. Space center. Tour. Astronaut. Welcome to Abby's page. My birthday was great this year. First, my parents and I went to a restaurant for breakfast. I had birthday candles on my pancakes. Then we went to the space center. I took a tour and met an astronaut. It was a lot of fun. Track twenty three, Unit two, The Great Outdoors. Let's start. A. Let's talk. The school trip is tomorrow. I'm really excited. Me too. What's the weather going to be like? It's going to be cold. Should we take our jackets? Yes, we should. Should we take our umbrellas? No, I don't think so. 
It isn't going to rain. Track twenty four. B. Let's practice. The school trip is tomorrow. I'm really excited. Me too. Track twenty five. C. Practice the words. Ask and answer. Number one. Cool. Number two. Cold. Number three. Warm. Number four. Hot. Number five. Foggy. Number six. Humid. Track twenty six. C. Practice the words. Ask and answer. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? It's going to be cold. Track twenty seven. D. Practice the grammar chant. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? The newspaper says it's going to snow. Do you think we should take our umbrellas? I'm not the weatherman. I don't know. Track twenty-eight. Let's learn. A. Practice the words. Number one. A towel. Number two. A hat. Number three. A swimsuit. Number four. A tent. Number five. A flashlight. Number six. A sleeping bag. Number seven. Sunglasses. Number eight. Sunscreen. Track twenty nine. B. Say these. He's going to go to the mountains. She's going to go to the beach. Track thirty. C. Practice the sentences. She should take sunscreen. She shouldn't take a tent. Track thirty one. C. Practice the sentences. Number one. He should take a hat. Number two. He shouldn't take a towel. Number three. He should take a flashlight. Number four. He shouldn't take a swimsuit. Number five. She should take sunscreen. Number six. She shouldn't take a tent. Number seven. She should take sunglasses. Number eight. She shouldn't take a sleeping bag. Track thirty-two. D. Practice the question and answer. Should he take sunscreen? Yes, he should. Should she take sunscreen? No, she shouldn't. Should they take sunscreen? Yes, they should. Track thirty three, D. Practice the question and answer. Number one. Should he take a hat? Yes, he should. Number two. Should she take a towel? No, she shouldn't. Number three. Should they take sunscreen? Yes, they should. Number four. Should she take a swimsuit? Yes, she should. Number five. Should they take a tent? 
No, they shouldn't. Track 34 E. Ask and answer. What else should he take? He should take a camera. What else should they take? They should take a camera. Track 35. Let's learn more. A. Practice the words. Number 1. Omit. Number 2. A bat. Number 3. A bicycle. Number 4. A helmet. Number 5. A tennis ball. Number 6. A tennis racket. Number 7. A fishing rod. Number 8. A bucket. Track 36. B. Practice the sentences. He has a mitt and a bat. He doesn't have a fishing rod or a bucket. He's probably going to play baseball. Track 37. B. Practice the sentences. Number 1. He has a mitt and a bat. He doesn't have a fishing rod or a bucket. He's probably going to play baseball. Number 2. She has a bicycle and a helmet. She doesn't have a tennis racket or a tennis ball. She's probably going to ride a bicycle. Number 3. He has a fishing rod and a bucket. He doesn't have a mitt or a bat. He's probably going to go fishing. Number 4. She has a tennis racket and a tennis ball. She doesn't have a bicycle or a helmet. She's probably going to play tennis. Track 38. C. Practice the question and answer. What's she going to do? She's probably going to go hiking. What are they going to do? They're probably going to play baseball. Track 39. C. Practice the question and answer. Number 1. What are they going to do? They're probably going to play baseball. Number 2. What are they going to do? They're probably going to play tennis. Number 3. What are they going to do? They're probably going to go fishing. Number 4. What's he going to do? He's probably going to ride a bicycle. Number 5. What's she going to do? She's probably going to go hiking. Number 6. What are they going to do? They're probably going to go swimming. Track 40. Let's build. A. Make sentences. He has a towel. He's probably going to go to the pool. She wants a cat. She's probably going to go to the pet store. They have a kite. They're probably going to go to the park. Number 1. They have a ball. They're probably going to go to the park. Number 2. He has a towel and sunscreen. He's probably going to go to the swimming pool. Number 3. They have a kite. They're probably going to go to the park. Number 4. She wants a cat. She's probably going to go to the pet store. 
Number five. He wants some pizza. He's probably going to go to the restaurant. Number six. She has books. She's probably going to go to the library. Track forty one. B. Ask and answer. Where's she going to go? She's probably going to go to the library. Where are they going to go? They're probably going to go to the park. Track forty two. Let's read. A. Read. New words. A rainbow. Indoors. Mirror. Tilt it up slightly. Turn off the lights. Shine. How to make a rainbow? Do you like rainbows? You can make a rainbow indoors. First, put water in a glass. Second, put a small mirror inside the glass and tilt it up slightly. Third, turn off the lights. Shine a flashlight onto the mirror. You're going to see a rainbow on the wall. Track 43, Units 1 and 2. Listen and review. A. Listen and write. Today is Monday the 18th. Tomorrow is going to be the 19th. Saturday is the 23rd. Friday is the 22nd. Wednesday is the 20th. Yesterday was Sunday the 17th. Thursday is the 21st. Track 44. B. Listen and circle. Number 1. He flew a kite. Number 2. She met a movie star. Number 3. What happened? They found some money. Number 4. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? It's going to be foggy. Number 5. They should take a flashlight. Number 6. He's probably going to play tennis. Track 45. Let's read about Chris and Cindy's treasure hunt. Part 1. A. Read. We're going to go on a treasure hunt, said Aunt Angie. We're going to take my airplane. Yay! said Chris and Cindy. Aunt Angie had the first clue for the treasure hunt. Chris and Cindy read it. It's not a beach, but there's a lot of sand. You should take your hats and sunscreen. Uncle Al is holding your next clue in front of a big triangle. I think I know, said Cindy. Track 46, Unit 3, Hopes and Dreams. Let's start. A. Let's talk. What do you want to be? I want to be an astronaut. Wow, that's great. Do you want to be an astronaut too? No, I don't. I want to be a singer. 
What about you, Scott? I want to be rich. <laughs> Track 47. B. Let's practice. What do you want to be? I want to be an astronaut. Track 48. C. Practice the words. Ask and answer. Number 1. An astronaut. Number 2. A singer. Number three. A musician. Number four. A news reporter. Number five. A writer. Number six. A scientist. Track 49. C. Practice the words. Ask and answer. Do you want to be a singer? Yes, I do. Do you want to be a singer? No, I don't. Track 50. D. Practice the grammar chant. What do you want to be? I want to be a dancer. What about you? I want to be a singer. Great idea! Come on, let's go! We can sing and dance on a TV show! Track 51. Let's learn. A. Practice the words. Number 1. A flight attendant. Number 2. A pop idol. Number 3. A truck driver. Number four. An architect. Number five. A tour guide. Number six. A delivery person. Track 52. B. Practice the sentences. He wants to be a flight attendant. He doesn't want to be a delivery person. Track 53. B. Practice the sentences. Number 1. He wants to be a flight attendant. He doesn't want to be a delivery person. Number 2. She wants to be a tour guide. She doesn't want to be an architect. Number three. He doesn't want to be a truck driver. He wants to be a pop idol. Track 54. C. Practice the question and answer. What does she want to be? She wants to be a truck driver. Track 55. C. Practice the question and answer. Number 1. What does he want to be? He wants to be a flight attendant. Number 2. What does she want to be? She wants to be an architect. Number 3. What does he want to be? He wants to be a pop idol. Number four. What does she want to be? She wants to be a truck driver. Number five. What does she want to be? She wants to be a tour guide. Number six. What does he want to be? He wants to be a delivery person. Track 56. D. Ask and answer. Does she want to be a delivery person? Yes, she does. Does he want to be a delivery person? No, he doesn't. Track 57. Let's learn more. A. Practice the words. 
Number one. Climb a mountain. Number two. Build a house. Number three. Sail a boat. Number four. Travel around the world. Number five. Design a video game. Number six. Drive a car. Track fifty-eight. B. Practice the sentences. She wants to drive a car. She doesn't want to travel around the world. Track fifty-nine. B. Practice the sentences. Number one. She wants to drive a car. She doesn't want to travel around the world. Number two. He doesn't want to climb a mountain. He wants to sail a boat. Number three. She wants to design a video game. She doesn't want to build a house. Track sixty. C. Practice the question and answer. What does she want to do? She wants to design a video game. Track sixty-one. C. Practice the question and answer. Number one. What does she want to do? She wants to design a video game. Number two. What does she want to do? She wants to travel around the world. Number three. What does she want to do? She wants to sail a boat. Number four. What does he want to do? He wants to drive a car. Number five. What does she want to do? She wants to build a house. Number six. What does she want to do? She wants to climb a mountain. Track sixty-two. D. Ask and answer. Does she want to build a house? Yes, she does. Does he want to build a house? No, he doesn't. Track sixty-three. Let's build. Play the game. Make sentences. I want to study English, but I don't want to speak English. I want to talk on the telephone, but I don't want to watch TV. I want to swim, but I don't want to run. I want to play ping pong, but I don't want to play baseball. I want to use chopsticks, but I don't want to do a magic trick. I want to ride a bicycle, but I don't want to drive a car. I want to walk the dog, but I don't want to feed the turtle. I want to sing, but I don't want to dance. I want to eat an apple, but I don't want to drink hot chocolate. I want to do homework, but I don't want to listen to music. I want to cook dinner, but I don't want to make breakfast. I want to take pictures, but I don't want to take a bath. Track sixty-four. Let's read. A. Read. New words. Volunteer. Dolphins. Trainer. Hospital. Anna and Terry Johnson, volunteer sisters. Anna Johnson is a volunteer at the zoo. She likes to work with animals. She works with dolphins every day. She feeds them every morning and helps train them too. Some day. Anna wants to be a dolphin trainer. Terry is Anna's sister.
She is a volunteer at the hospital. She doesn't want to work with animals. She likes to help people. She wants to be a nurse someday. Track 65, Unit 4, School. Let's start. A. Let's talk. What's your favorite subject? I like science. Why do you like it? I think it's easy. I don't think so. I think it's hard. Which subject do you like best? I like English. It's easier than science. I like English, too. Track 66. B. Let's practice. Why do you like science? I think it's easy. Track 67. C. Practice the words. Ask and answer. Number 1. History. Number two. Science. Number three. English. Number four. P.E. Physical Education. Number five. Geography. Number six. Literature. Track 68. C. Practice the words. Ask and answer. What's your favorite subject? I like history. Track 69. D. Practice the grammar chant. What's your favorite subject? I like P.E. Why do you like it? No homework. What about you? I like science. Why do you like it? Nice teacher. Track 70. Let's learn. A. Practice the words. Number 1. Bottle. Bottles. Number two. Box. Boxes. Number three. Bag. Bags. Track 71. B. Practice the sentences. The orange bottle is bigger than the blue bottle. The green bottle is the biggest. Big. Bigger. Biggest. Small. Smaller. Smallest. Track 72. B. Practice the sentences. Number 1. The orange bottle is bigger than the blue bottle. The green bottle is the biggest. The orange bottle is smaller than the green bottle. The blue bottle is the smallest. Number 2. The gray box is bigger than the red box. The yellow box is the biggest. The gray box is smaller than the yellow box. The red box is the smallest. Number 3. The purple bag is bigger than the pink bag. The brown bag is the biggest. The purple bag is smaller than the brown bag. The pink bag is the smallest. Track 73. 
C. Practice the questions and answers. Which pencil is the longest? The yellow pencil is the longest. Which pencil is the shortest? The red pencil is the shortest. Track 74. C. Practice the questions and answers. Big. Bigger. The biggest. Small. Smaller. The smallest. Long. Longer. The longest. Short. Shorter. The shortest. Heavy. Heavier. The heaviest. Light. Lighter. The lightest. Track 75. C. Practice the questions and answers. Number 1. Which bag is the heaviest? The green bag is the heaviest. Which bag is the lightest? The blue bag is the lightest. Number 2. Which pencil is the longest? The yellow pencil is the longest. Which pencil is the shortest? The red pencil is the shortest. Number 3. Which eraser is the biggest? The striped eraser is the biggest. Which eraser is the smallest? The pink eraser is the smallest. Number 4. Which keychain is the lightest? The blue keychain is the lightest. Which keychain is the heaviest? The yellow keychain is the heaviest. Number 5. Which ruler is the shortest? The red ruler is the shortest. Which ruler is the longest? The yellow ruler is the longest. Number 6. Which poster is the smallest? The red poster is the smallest. Which poster is the biggest? The blue poster is the biggest. Track 76. D. Ask and answer. Is the blue pencil the longest? No, it isn't. Track 77. Let's learn more. A. Practice the words. Number 1. Good. Number 2. Better. Number 3. The best. Number 4. Bad. Number 5. Worse. Number 6. The worst. Track 78. B. Practice the sentence. Matt's pie is good. Track 79. B. Practice the sentence. Number 1. Matt's pie is good. Number 2. Lisa's pie is better. Number 3. Keith's pie is the best. Number 4. Beth's cake is bad. Number 5. Jim's cake is worse. Number 6. Wendy's cake is the worst. Track 80. C. Practice the questions and answers. Who's the best swimmer? Ryan is the best. Who's the worst swimmer? Kevin is the worst. Track 81. C. Practice the questions and answers. Number 1. Who's the best swimmer? Anne is the best swimmer. Number 2. 
Who's the best dancer? Ryan is the best dancer. Number three. Who's the worst singer? Ryan is the worst singer. Number four. Who's the best runner? Kevin is the best runner. Number five. Who's the worst soccer player? Kevin is the worst soccer player. Number six. Who's the best cook? Anne is the best cook. Track eighty-two, D. Ask and answer. Is Kevin a better runner than Anne? Yes, he is. Is Kevin the best swimmer? No, he isn't. Track eighty-three. Let's build. A. Make sentences. The police car is heavier than the motorcycle. The fire engine is the heaviest. Number one. The police car is heavier than the motorcycle. The fire engine is the heaviest. Number two. The paper clip is lighter than the pencil. The paper is the lightest. Number three. The key is bigger than the coin. The hairbrush is the biggest. Number four. The ribbon is longer than the ruler. The jump rope is the longest. Track eighty-four. B. Practice the grammar chant. Bears can run. Lions run faster. But cheetahs are the fastest of them all. Don't ever race with a cheetah. Rawr. Cheetahs are the fastest of them all. Rhinos are big. Polar bears are bigger. But elephants are the biggest of them all. Don't ever fight with an elephant. Are the biggest of them all. Track eighty-five. Let's read. A. Read. New words. On land. In water. In the air. Swan. Falcon. Sailfish, whale. Which one is the fastest? Some animals are fast and some are slow. Some animals move only on land, and some move only in water. Other animals move in the air. Let's look at the speed of some animals. Number one. Which animal is the fastest on land? A, a lion. B, a cheetah. C, a horse. Number two. Which animal is the fastest in the air? A, a swan. B, a duck. C, a falcon. Number three. Which animal is the fastest in water? A, a sailfish. B, a dolphin. C, a whale. Track eighty-six, units three and four. Listen and review. A, listen and circle. Number one. She wants to be a pop idol. Number two. He wants to be a tour guide. Number three. 
He wants to design a video game. Number four. She wants to travel around the world. Track eighty seven. B. Listen and check. Number one. The green bottle is bigger than the orange bottle. The green bottle is smaller than the blue bottle. Number two. The brown pencil is the longest. Number three. Which box is the smallest? The pink box is the smallest. Number four. Jill's picture is better than Nina's. Jill's picture is worse than John's. Track eighty-eight. Let's read about Chris and Cindy's treasure hunt, Part Two. A. Read. Egypt is hot, said Chris. Look, said Cindy. There's the Great Pyramid, and there's Uncle Al with three water bottles, said Chris. Hi, kids, he said. Hi, Uncle Al. Do you have our next clue? Asked Cindy. Yes, I do. He said. Here it is. Find the biggest waterfall and ride a boat in front of it. This clue is harder, said Cindy. But I think I know, said Chris. Track two, unit five, indoors and outdoors. Let's start. A, let's talk. How was the show? It was really fun. Where are you now? We're at the roller coaster. We're waiting in line. We want to go on the roller coaster too. Can you wait for us? Sure, but hurry. Thanks for waiting for us. No problem. I'm so excited. Track three. B. Let's practice. Can you wait for us? Sure, no problem. Can you wait for us? Sorry, I can't. Track four. C. Practice the words and sentences. Number one. Worried. Number two. Surprised. Number three. Interested. Number four. Excited. Number five. Bored. Number six. Embarrassed. Track five. C. Practice the words and sentences. He's surprised. Track six. D. Practice the grammar chant. He's very worried. So is she. She's excited. So are we. We're surprised. So are they. Our teacher gave a test today. Track seven. Let's learn. A. Practice the words. Number one. 
Watched a baseball game. Number two. Practiced the violin. Number three. Downloaded music. Number four. Listened to the radio. Number five. Played a board game. Number six. Visited their grandparents. Track eight. B. Practice the sentences. He practiced the violin. She didn't download music. Track nine. B. Practice the sentences. Number one. He practiced the violin. He didn't download music. Number two. She didn't watch a baseball game. She listened to the radio. Number three. They didn't play a board game. They visited their grandparents. Track ten. C. Practice the questions and answers. What did he do yesterday? He practiced the violin. What did they do yesterday? They visited their grandparents. Track eleven. C. Practice the questions and answers. Number one. What did she do yesterday? She listened to the radio. Number two. What did they do yesterday? They played a board game. Number three. What did he do yesterday? He practiced the violin. Number four. What did they do yesterday? They watched a baseball game. Track twelve. D. Ask. And answer. Did she listen to the radio? Yes, she did. Did he listen to the radio? No, he didn't. Did they play a board game? Yes, they did. Did they play a board game? No, they didn't. Track thirteen. Let's learn more. A. Say these. Up. Down, around, through, over, under, into, out of. Track fourteen. B. Practice the words. Number one. Under a bridge. Up a hill. Number two. Into the woods. Out of the woods. Number three. Around a pond. Over a bridge. Number four. Through a tunnel. Down a hill. Track fifteen. C. Practice the sentence. He went under a bridge and up a hill. Track sixteen. C. Practice the sentence. Number one. He went under a bridge and up a hill. Number two. He went into the woods, and out of the woods. Number three. They went around a pond, and over a bridge. Number four. They went through a tunnel, and down a hill. Track seventeen. D. Practice the question and answer. Where did the boy go? He went over the wall. Where did the girl go? She went over the tunnel. Track eighteen. D. 
Practice the question and answer. Number one. Where did the boy go? He went over the wall. Number two. Where did the boy go? He went down the wall and over the bridge. Number three. Where did the boy go? He went under the table and through the tunnel. Number four. Where did the boy go? He went into the house and out of the house. Number five. Where did the girl go? She went under the bridge. Number six. Where did the girl go? She went around the table. Number seven. Where did the girl go? She went around the house, up the hill, and down the hill. Number eight. Where did the girl go? She went over the tunnel. Track nineteen. E. Where did the cat and dog go? Where did the cat go? It went out of the bed and under the table. Then it went through the window, up the bookcase, and down the bookcase. Then it went over the sofa. Where did the dog go? It went into the door, around the TV, and under the table. Then it went over the sofa. Track twenty. Let's build. A. Answer the questions. Where did Ken go? Who did he go with? What did he do? What did he eat? When did he go? Where did Stacy go? Who did she go with? What did she do? What did she eat? When did she go? Track twenty-one. Let's read. A. Read. New words. Australia. Wildlife park. Kangaroo. Koala. Reptile. Crocodile. Aunt Tina's trip. Dear Joey, we are having fun in Australia. Uncle Mark and I went to the wildlife park yesterday. I fed a kangaroo and held a koala. Uncle Mark went through the reptile house and fed a crocodile. He looked scared. Tomorrow we are going to go sailing. See you soon, Aunt Tina. Track twenty two, Unit six, People. Let's start. A. Let's talk. Can I help you? Yes, thanks. I'm looking for someone. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for my aunt. What does she look like? She has short red hair and green eyes. Is that her over there? Yes, it is. Thanks. Track twenty-three. B. Let's practice. Can I help you? Yes, thanks. Can I help you? No, thanks. I'm okay. Track twenty-four. 
C. Practice the words. Ask and answer. Number one. Aunt. Number two. Uncle. Number three. Cousin. Number four. Younger sister. Number five. Mom. Number six. Dad. Number seven. Grandma. Number eight. Grandpa. Track twenty five. C. Practice the words. Ask and answer. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for my aunt. Track 26. D. Practice the grammar chant. What's the matter? Can I help you? I can't find my sister anywhere. Is she very tall, with long black hair? Yes. Look, she's right over there. That's my sister. What a surprise! Long black hair and beautiful eyes. Track twenty-seven. Let's learn. A. Practice the words. Hair color. Brown hair. Black hair. Blonde hair, red hair, gray hair, hairstyle, curly hair, long hair, straight hair, a ponytail, bangs, face, a mustache, a beard, eye color, black eyes, brown eyes. Blue eyes, green eyes. Track twenty-eight. B. Practice the sentence. He has short red hair and green eyes. Track twenty-nine. B. Practice the sentence. Number one. He has short red hair and green eyes. Number two. She has long brown hair and brown eyes. Number three. He has a black mustache and short curly black hair. Number four. She has long blonde curly hair and blue eyes. Number five. She has short black hair, bangs, and black eyes. Number six. She has long red hair and a ponytail. Number seven. He has short gray hair, blue eyes, and a beard. Number eight. She has short brown hair and brown eyes. Track thirty. C. Practice the question and answer. What does his cousin look like? His cousin has brown hair and blue eyes. Track thirty-one. C. Practice the question and answer. Number one. What does his cousin look like? His cousin has brown hair and blue eyes. Number two. What does his friend look like? His friend has black hair and black eyes. Number three. What does his older sister look like? His older sister has long blonde hair, green eyes, and bangs. Number four. What does his younger brother look like? His younger brother has brown hair. And brown eyes. Number five. What does his aunt look like? His aunt has a ponytail and green eyes. Number six.
What does his uncle look like? His uncle has black hair and brown eyes. Number seven. What does his grandma look like? His grandma has short gray hair and blue eyes. Number eight. What does his grandpa look like? His grandpa has gray hair, a gray mustache, a beard, and brown eyes. Number nine. What does his mom look like? His mom has short blonde hair and gray eyes. Number ten. What does his dad look like? His dad has short curly brown hair, blue eyes, glasses, and a brown mustache. Track thirty-two. Let's learn more. A. Practice the words. Number one. A vest. Number two. A baseball cap. Number three. A blouse. Number four. A tie. Number five. A suit. Number six. Sandals. Number seven. Sneakers. Number eight. Glasses. Track thirty-three. B. Practice the sentences. I'm wearing a vest. I'm not wearing a suit. Track thirty-four. B. Practice the sentences. Number one. I'm wearing a vest. I'm not wearing a vest. Number two. I'm wearing a baseball cap. I'm not wearing a baseball cap. Number three. I'm wearing a blouse. I'm not wearing a blouse. Number four. I'm wearing a tie. I'm not wearing a tie. Number five. I'm wearing a suit. I'm not wearing a suit. Number six. I'm wearing sandals. I'm not wearing sandals. Number seven. I'm wearing sneakers. I'm not wearing sneakers. Number eight. I'm wearing glasses. I'm not wearing glasses. Track thirty-five. C. Practice the question and answer. Which boy is Brian's older brother? He's the boy with curly brown hair and brown eyes. He's the boy in shorts and a blue striped shirt. Track thirty-six. C. Practice the question and answer. Number one. Which boy is Brian's older brother? He's the boy with curly brown hair and brown eyes. He's the boy in shorts and a blue striped shirt. Number two. Which girl is Brian's older sister? She's the girl with long blonde hair. She's the girl in the pink polka dot dress and sandals. Number three. Which woman is Brian's mom? She's the woman with blonde hair and gray eyes. She's the woman in the orange shirt and brown skirt. Number four. Which man is Brian's uncle? He's the man with black hair and brown eyes. He's the man in the green baseball cap and green shirt. Number five. Which man is Brian's dad? He's the man with curly brown hair and blue eyes. He's the man in glasses and a yellow baseball cap. Number six. 
Which man is Brian's grandpa? He's the man with gray hair and a mustache. He's the man in the shirt, tie, and sweater. Number seven. Which woman is Brian's aunt? She's the woman with long red hair, a ponytail, and green eyes. She's the woman in the gray blouse, blue tie, and green skirt. Number eight. Which woman is Brian's grandma? She's the woman with straight gray hair and blue eyes. She's the woman in the yellow vest and checkered skirt. Number nine. Which boy is Brian's younger brother? He's the boy with brown hair and brown eyes. He's the boy in the orange and yellow striped shirt. Track thirty-seven, D. Practice the grammar chant. Is that Jim's older brother there? The boy in shorts with the curly hair? No, Jim's brother is wearing jeans and a long purple T-shirt from New Orleans. Track thirty-eight. Let's build. A. Look and answer the questions. Number one. Anna is the girl in the red shorts and white T-shirt. She's the girl with a long black ponytail and bangs. Where's Anna? Number two. Alex is the boy with short, curly brown hair and brown eyes. He's in red sneakers and a yellow T-shirt. Where's Alex? Number three. Emily is the woman in the gray suit and white blouse. She's the woman with short blonde hair and blue eyes. Where's Emily? Number four. Sam is the man in black jeans and glasses. He's the man with a mustache and green eyes. Where's Sam? Track thirty-nine. B. Answer the questions. Number one. What is Anna doing? Number two. Who is Alex with? Number three. What is Emily eating? Number four. Where is Sam going to go? Track forty. Let's read. A. Read. New words. Fingerprint. Lotion. Powder. A piece of tape. Lift. Let's make a fingerprint. First, put lotion on your hands. Then, touch a mirror. Put powder on the mirror. Brush the powder away. You should see a fingerprint. Put a piece of tape on the fingerprint. Lift the tape and put it on a piece of black paper. Do this for every finger. Then you can see all of your fingerprints. Every fingerprint is different. Track forty-one, units five and six. Listen and review. A. Listen and circle. Number one. He's bored. Number two. She's listening to the radio. Number three. They're playing a board game. Number four. He's walking over a bridge. Track forty-two. B. Listen and number. Number one. Alice's sister has long curly hair and green eyes. She's wearing a plaid skirt. Number two. Alice's mother has a black ponytail and bangs. 
She's wearing a pink blouse and a skirt. Number three. Alice's grandmother has short, curly black hair. She's wearing glasses and a green shirt. Number four. Alice has straight blonde hair and blue eyes. She's wearing a white blouse and a skirt. Number five. Alice's cousin is the boy with brown hair and bangs. He's wearing a T-shirt, shorts, and a baseball cap. Number six. Alice's father is the man with curly blonde hair and blue eyes. He's wearing a suit and tie. Track forty-three. Let's read about Chris and Cindy's treasure hunt, Part Three. A. Read. Iguazu Falls is beautiful, said Cindy. But I'm wet, said Chris. Are you Chris and Cindy? Asked the man. Yes, we are. Here's your clue. Said the man. This place is in the desert, but it's always cold. It's underground and dark. Find your treasure near the castle in the big room. There are a lot of deserts in the world, said Chris. But this is a desert with a big cave, said Cindy. I think I know. Track forty four, Unit seven, Future plans. A. Let's talk. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to see my cousin. How old is your cousin? He's fourteen. He's my favorite cousin. What about you? What are you going to do? I'm going to play ice hockey. I have a game tomorrow. Good luck. I hope you win. Thanks. Track forty-five. B. Let's practice. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to see my cousin. Are you going to do anything this weekend? No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Track forty-six. C. Practice the words. Ask and answer. Number one. Go shopping. Number two. Plant flowers. Number three. Play ice hockey. Number four. See a play. Number five. Go horseback riding. Number six. Play softball. Track forty-seven. C. Practice the words. Ask and answer. What's she going to do? She's going to go shopping. What are they going to do? They're going to play ice hockey. Track forty-eight, D. Practice the grammar chant. What are you gonna do this weekend? I'm gonna go shopping. What are you gonna buy? 
I'm going to buy skis. Skis? Why? It's not going to snow. I know, I know. No mountains here, no hills, no snow. Where are you going to ski? I don't know. Track 49. Let's learn. A. Practice the words. Number 1. Rent a DVD. Tonight. Number 2. Borrow some books. Tomorrow. Number 3. Go backpacking. In July. Number 4. Go on vacation. Next week. Number 5. Mail a letter. This afternoon. Number 6. Read a novel. This summer. Track 50. B. Practice the sentence. She's going to rent a DVD tonight. Track 51. B. Practice the sentence. Number 1. She's going to rent a DVD tonight. Number 2. He's going to borrow some books tomorrow. Number 3. She's going to go backpacking in July. Number 4. He's going to go on vacation next week. Number 5. She's going to mail a letter this afternoon. Number 6. He's going to read a novel this summer. Track 52. C. Practice the question and answer. When's he going to go backpacking? He's going to go backpacking in July. Track 53. C. Practice the question and answer. Number 1. When's he going to go backpacking? He's going to go backpacking in July. Number 2. When's she going to mail a letter? She's going to mail a letter tomorrow. Number 3. When's he going to go on vacation? He's going to go on vacation this evening. Number 4. When's she going to read a novel? She's going to read a novel next weekend. Number 5. When's he going to rent a DVD? He's going to rent a DVD on Saturday. Number 6. When's she going to borrow some books? She's going to borrow some books after school. Track 54. D. Ask and answer. Is he going to go on vacation tomorrow? Yes, he is. Is she going to go on vacation tomorrow? No, she isn't. Track 55. Let's learn more. A. Practice the words. Number 1. Department store. Number 2. Barber shop. Number 3. Beauty salon. Number 4. Supermarket. Number 5. Drugstore. Number 6. Gift shop. Track 56. B. Practice the sentence. She's going to go to the department store. Track 57. B. Practice the sentence. Number 1. She's going to go to the department store. Number 2. He's going to go to the barber shop. Number 3. 
she is going to go to the beauty salon. Number four. He's going to go to the supermarket. Number five. She is going to go to the drugstore. Number six. She's going to go to the gift shop. Track fifty eight. C. Practice the question and answer. Where's he going to go? He's going to go to the department store. Where are they going to go? They're going to go to the supermarket. Track fifty nine. C. Practice the question and answer. Number one. They're going to go to the department store. Number two. He's going to go to the barber shop. Number three. She's going to go to the beauty salon. Number four. He's going to go to the drugstore. Number five. They're going to go to the supermarket. Number six. They're going to go to the gift shop. Track sixty. D. Ask and answer. Is he going to go to the drugstore? Yes, he is. Is she going to go to the drugstore? No, she isn't. Are they going to go to the gift shop? Yes, they are. Are they going to go to the gift shop? No, they aren't. Track sixty-one. Let's build. A. Make sentences. Amy stayed home on Sunday. Today she is studying English. She's going to go to art class on Friday. Track sixty-two. B. Ask and answer. When did Amy go to math class? When is Ben going to play with his friends? Track sixty-three. Let's read. A. Read. New words. Homestay. American. For two months. Welcome to Paul's page. Next summer, I'm going to go on a homestay. I'm going to have an American brother and sister. Their names are Joe and Linda. Two years ago, Joe stayed with my family. Now I'm going to stay with his family for two months. I have to study English every day. Track sixty four, Unit eight, Work and Play. A, let's talk. Hi, Andy. Jenny and I are going to go to the park. Do you want to come? I can't. Why not? Because I'm sick. What's wrong? I have a stomach ache. That's too bad. I hope you feel better. Thanks. Have fun at the park. Track sixty-five. B. Let's practice. Do you want to come? I can't. Do you want to come? Sure. Track sixty-six. C. Practice the words. Ask and answer. Number one. A cold. Number two, a fever. Number three, a headache. 
Number four. A sore throat. Number five. An earache. Number six. A stomach ache. Number seven. A toothache. Number eight. A cough. Track sixty seven. C. Practice the words. Ask and answer. What's wrong? I have a cold. Track sixty eight. D. Practice the grammar chant. What's the matter with you? You don't look very well. I have a toothache. Call the dentist. I have a stomach ache. Call the doctor. I have a sore throat. Drink some tea. My cold is getting worse. Call the nurse. Track sixty-nine. Let's learn. A. Practice the words. Number one. Write email. Number two. Paint pictures. Number three. Collect baseball cards. Number four. Watch sports on TV. Number five. Surf the internet. Number six. Play badminton. Track seventy. B. Practice the sentences. He likes to write email. She doesn't like to write email. They like to watch sports on TV. They don't like to watch sports on TV. Track seventy one. B. Practice the sentences. Number one. He likes to paint pictures. He doesn't like to write email. Number two. She likes to surf the internet. She doesn't like to play badminton. Number three. They like to collect baseball cards. They don't like to watch sports on TV. Track seventy-two. C. Practice the questions and answers. What does she like to do? She likes to paint pictures. What do they like to do? They like to play badminton. Track seventy-three. C. Practice the questions and answers. Number one. What does he like to do? He likes to surf the internet. Number two. What does she like to do? She likes to write email. Number three. What does he like to do? He likes to watch sports on TV. Number four. What does he like to do? He likes to collect baseball cards. Number five. What does she like to do? She likes to paint pictures. Number six. What do they like to do? They like to play badminton. Track seventy-four. D. Ask and answer. Does he like to collect baseball cards? Yes, he does. Does she like to collect baseball cards? No, she doesn't. Do they like to watch sports on TV? Yes, they do. Do they like to watch sports on TV? No, they don't. Track seventy-five. Let's learn more. A. Practice the words. Number one. Clear the table. Number two. Wash the dishes. 
Number three. Dry the dishes. Number four. Vacuum the carpet. Number five. Take out the trash. Number six. Feed the dog. Track seventy six. B. Practice the sentences. He has to wash the dishes. They have to clear the table. Track seventy seven. B. Practice the sentences. Number one. They have to clear the table. Number two. He has to wash the dishes. Number three. She has to dry the dishes. Number four. She has to vacuum the carpet. Number five. He has to take out the trash. Number six. She has to feed the dog. Track seventy eight. C. Practice the question and answer. What does he have to do? He has to take out the trash. Track seventy nine. C. Practice the question and answer. Number one. What does she have to do? She has to wash the dishes. Number two. What does he have to do? He has to dry the dishes. Number three. What does she have to do? She has to clear the table. Number four. What does he have to do? He has to take out the trash. Number five. What does he have to do? He has to feed the dog. Number six. What does she have to do? She has to vacuum the carpet. Track eighty. Let's read. A. Read. New words. Save. Spend. Serious. Easy going. What are you like? Number one. You want to play a video game. You have to do your homework. A. I'm going to do my homework. B. I'm going to play a video game. Number two. You have a test tomorrow. A. I'm going to study. B. I'm going to watch TV. Number three. You have some money. A. I'm going to save it. B. I'm going to spend it. Answers. All A. You are very serious. Have a little more fun. Two A and one B. You are serious, but you like to have fun too. Two B and one A. You are easygoing, but you can be serious too. All B. You are very easygoing. Be a little more serious. Track eighty one, Unit seven and eight. Listen and review. Listen and circle. Number one. She likes to play softball. Number two. He's going to read a novel tonight. Number three. They have to go to the drugstore on Friday. Number four. What's wrong? She has a stomach ache. Number five. He likes to surf the internet. Number six. She likes to play badminton. 
Track 82. Let's read about Chris and Cindy's treasure hunt. Part 4. A. Read. Carlsbad Caverns is so big, said Chris. I feel so small. There's a box, said Cindy. Let's look inside. It's a scrapbook, said Cindy. Look, we're riding on a camel in Egypt, said Chris. And we're standing in front of the waterfall at Iquazu Falls, said Cindy. Thank you, Aunt Angie, said Chris. This is a great treasure. I'm glad you like it, said Aunt Angie. Why are there blank pages in the scrapbook? asked Cindy. Because we're going to have more adventures, said Aunt Angie. <laughs>